welcome right back to plans on planning we are here in my fitness planner as you know we got my monthly spread ready and set to go to knock some fitness goal butt but to get the month done we have to kind of do it week by week so you know that means we got to get this together as well and uh you're gonna do that with me basically so let's go ahead and get started so what I want to do is get some stickers down to like get me on my goals and make sure I'm getting things done. So to do that, I got to get this looking pretty. I got to get this looking right. And I got to get some things down basically. Like, like let's do it. Let's get to it. And... To do that, I need some workout stickers, basically. So I'm using my workout stickers. I'm like, if I could get them off the page. Um, so I have this work for it. Um, let's do this work out. Uh, I have another work for it. Uh, Thursday, I do a glutes and core class. So I definitely want to use this, like, feel the burn. Because, yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, then I do some workout on Friday. Well, I'm gonna call it, let's, I'm gonna put an exercise. Because it's not like a workout class. It's me doing some free weights, a little bit of cardio, things like that. Um, I'm gonna put a work for it. This day. And I'm truthfully gonna use me time on Sunday because I'm going to do some yoga and I really do consider my yoga my me time to be very honest I know that this sounds kind of corny now that I'm saying it out loud <laughs> it really does but I'm serious no excuses little girl and then um by Friday I'm super exhausted, so I just want to put, like, a never quit, never give up, never quit, you know, like, kitties never say die, like, one of those little corny things. My little mister. Just walking me into the week, or walking me throughout the week, that's what he's there for, like, all right, take these steps to make it to the next phase. I'm like, dude, get off my freaking back. That's how I feel about him by, like, this time of the week. I'm like, dude, I'm going to need you to sit down somewhere, okay? Um, I'm trying to think what else I'm going to put. And I'm just, like, going through it. Oh, through my, um... Goal. End of the week is always, or making it to the end of the week is always the goal. That was a little crooked. Let's straighten it up a little better. Is that better? Much better. Fabulous. Alright. Oh, I like this. This is workout satisfaction. And I'm going to do that, like, as a weekly total. That's why I'm putting it on a Sunday. To see how satisfied I am with my week. Um, I'm actually keeping it really, really simple in my workout planner. I'm trying something different. Um, usually, I have, like, a whole bunch going on. And I kind of felt like it was getting a little too crowded. Like, I was focused more on making sure the page looked good with the stickers and decor and everything, as opposed to looking good with what I'm writing in, like my workouts, my meals, 
things like that. So I'm trying something different. I'm changing it up a bit. I'm, you know, headers for my workouts. I'm going to write in my meals because I actually like um, when I write in the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know why, but I think it has a personal touch and a nice little flair. And then I'm just putting a little bit of inspo throughout, but focusing more on things that will help me achieve my goals. So I have this before. And I have this after here. So it's like how we start our week and how we end our week. Yeah, I like it. Because I'm going to get some goals in and then I want to remember some habits. And habits basically are making sure I'm getting out of sleep and making sure I'm taking my freaking vitamins. I cannot begin to tell you how difficult it is to remember to take some vitamins. And every time I have to say it, like admit to the fact that I'm super bad at taking vitamins, like it just sounds dumb. Like, let's be honest. It's like, come on, they're vitamins. But for whatever reason, they're the bane of my existence. And it is so freaking hard for me to remember to take vitamins, no matter where I put them. I put them in the bathroom with me. So it's like, oh, well, you know, you're in the bathroom. Remember to take your vitamins. But I look at them things and I'm like, I'll be back. I'll come right back and take them. Never come back. Every morning I make myself a glass of water. So I'm like, I'll keep it next to the water or the sink, you know, so I can have the vitamins. If I'm going to get water... I might as well just take the vitamins. That doesn't necessarily work out either. And then I'm like, well, I put them in the bedroom because, of course, I'm either going to go to bed at night or I'm going to wake up in the morning. So I can take them at night or I can take them at morning. Night, I'm like, I'm too tired. I'll take them in the morning. The morning comes, I'm in a rush. I'll take them at night. So you see what I'm saying, right? You feel me on that, right? So I have a very dumb problem. Let's just be honest. I don't lie to you. I have a dumb problem. I can't remember to take my stupid vitamins. And it's not even anything crazy. Like, I'm not taking, like, six million vitamins. Or maybe I should. Maybe if I had a whole bunch of vitamins to take, I'd remember to take them. But I'm just taking some basic vitamins. I don't know. Uh, Sunday we do brunch. A light snack. And then dinner. Yes, darling, yes. Sundays were made for brunch. What you know about that? Ow. All right. So, fine liners are definitely where it's at. Let's add in some um, habits, like taking vitamins. Whatever. <laughs> vitamins. Um, workout. Water. And sleep. And for sleep, I want to do six to eight hours. Very honestly, that's kind of what we should strive for um, when we sleep. Six to eight hours. Anything more than that, and you're just being greedy, okay? Honestly. Um, I want to do 3K a day and stuff. I want to drink three liters of water, two liters, let's do two liters of water at work. Very simple way to do that, a liter in the morning, a liter in the afternoon, buy a liter bottle. That covers that all. Um, Sometimes I can actually get to three because I'll get like a liter and a half bottle of water and fill it up. 
bam. So those are simple goals we're starting the week out with. Simple habits to start the week out with as well. And here we have it. Like I said, I'm trying something new. I'm not cluttering my page up with a whole bunch of decor and stickers and inspiration and motivation and blah, blah, blah. No. I want to focus on the workout. I want to focus on my meals. When you keep it simple, it's easier to stick with it. And I tell people that all the time, like clients that I work with, my friends who call me and ask me for advice and text me and whatnot. Um, I always tell them, keep it simple. But, you know, here I am cluttering the page. I'm keeping it simple now. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, planner related or even fitness related, because I do run a fitness blog um, that has tons of tips and tricks, um, just hit me a comment below. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can always email me. Um, you can check out the website. It's on the road to fitness.com. Um, and, you know, leave a comment there as well. Like if you're reading a post and you have some questions about it, just go ahead and comment on the post. It comes directly to me. There's no middleman, nothing like that. The emails or the messages come directly to me in email form and I'll respond right back to you. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And then hit me up in the messages and let me know, hey, uh, I saw your video. Or you can even comment um, in one of the pictures, like, hey, I saw your video. Let's talk about this, that, and the third. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, yes, let's talk about it. But <laughs> nonetheless, I thank you for getting my fitness workout week straight and under control. And I will definitely talk to you later. But until then, have a wonderful, wonderful time. Bye, guys. Thank you.